Oh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the Keeping the Frank Podcast Show. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Keeping the Frank Podcast Show with me, your boy, the host with the most, Keston Holiday Frank. You know how I get down, and I'm here back on a nice day outside with this young lady. The one you like to look at, trick or tray, triggs, all of that. And trigonometry. Wow. Trigger delicious. Trigger delicious. Trigger. Yeah. Just just just, <laughs> just stop early. <laughs> What's good, trick or treat? What's been going on? This is my first day, like really outside. I've yeah. been inside all week. Okay, this ain't like it's been a good week. You've been nice outside. I know. I, and the I arms missed out. that. I yeah. missed that. Yeah, you trying to show off today? Huh? Arms out today. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we out here. You trying to get extra followers now? Yeah, you know, I'm trying having to have arms out. I'm trying to get a you want to be the one they like to look at? Yeah, huh? I love this, bro. <laughs> you feel trying to be a little thotty piece out here? Wow, <laughs> the summer. Look, once the, it gets warm, thot, um, the thot activities start uh, yeah. happening. I'm walking outside with no drawers on now. Wow, <laughs> I'm, I I wouldn't be surprised. You feel me? Sweatpants and all. I would not. I'd be surprised. You no, know, the sweatpants and no, whatever. Wow. Yeah, what's up, man? What's wow. up, y'all? What's up? Should I have gone stayed home? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Mm-hmm. We out here though. So today, mm-hmm. we are chatting about this British invasion mm-hmm. in America and how they have just taken over everything. <laughs> Listen, fam. You know we do the we do we do a lot. You know we be out here. Your the, accent is not me, good. Me, just Elba, um, ac- and all the and all the fam. Your accent is not is not passing. But I'm from London. Bro. No, I'm a London bloat. No, not yeah. with that accent. But you're saying, not you're saying blood. No. Not blood. Blood. No. Jeez. I don't know what you've been watching. I watch a lot of um, well, a lot I, of the wrong shows. I watch the good. What are you you watch about? a lot of the wrong shit. Sounded like you ever that. You see um this um this movie Cadulthood? That was my shit. Cadult. Cadulthood is like some shit. Like it was like these kids is wild out here in London and shit. It's some crazy I shit. I mean, people was wilding out here, but no, I nah, haven't seen. London's that. a little different, man. They still crazy. Them niggas is crazy with no guns. Well, I'm, they just still crazy. They be out here with bats and chains and True, shit. True, like the batons, right? Yeah, they be looking. Yeah, like, you know, cops don't have. They can't. They don't. They don't have they guns have the and little, shit. They have the little. They have the little. I'm slap. I'm slapping all the niggas that are coming at. But me. that shit probably mm-hmm. still hurt though. Slapping them. That's it. Probably still hurt. You don't want to get hit with a baton. But anyway, so, speak, speaking about the British invasion, I feel like. What makes their accent so sexy? Is it just because it's different? Listen, fam. They ask me that all the time. You're, no, all the time they ask me. They say, they say, I shouldn't. We shouldn't say, pick this topic. They say, where you're from? I said, I'm London. I'm a London bloke. I didn't, I didn't realize yeah. he was gonna talk like this. I'm a so London try to, bloke. Try you know? to talk like this. No, the this, this, my, this is when I talk like this. This is not my real accent. This is mm. what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Mm. When I talk like this, though. <laughs> you sound just like <laughs> I don't even Yo, know what you sound like. Maybe surprising me. It's my. It's on like like um. When I saw Get Out, mm-hmm. then Kalua, like first, I was like, yo, why does it sound like this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. The whole movie, you sound whole, different. But what do you mean? Like his... It's like his accent just... See, I can't picture his accent right now because I'm thinking of his accent in Judas and the Black Messiah. Yeah. So I and can't then, like... And then... Because um, that act, the accent he had there was a very... Was crazy. Particu- like very specific, yeah. which I enjoyed. And then when did, when did everybody realize that Elchus Elba was like from London? Because oh. The Wire, he was... Just a, he does a great job. I think it's yeah. awesome when people can like perfect accents that way. Like as an actress, I have taken dialect um, classes because yeah. I've I've auditioned to play. Like I auditioned for Harry Potter one time, so I had to have like oh a the British, one black girl. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but um, but yeah, like for that, the play, you that one black girl. So I took some dialect classes so I can like try to perfect the. You look British. like you're being Hogwarts and shit. I mean, why not? Especially yeah. with my glasses. <laughs> you know and the puff I actually went I split my hair in like two puffs like yeah. how they did in the thing that's not the point okay. but the point the point is though like there's so many like little specific things that you know you don't notice when it comes to certain vowels and and the way they drop the last letter of words mm-hmm. to like perfect these accents and it's just so dope to me like yeah. I wish I can go to like London and be like sound perfect you I'm know like, what I mean I like when the London girls say my name Wow. Do you think any other accents are like just as sexy or is it just any foreign accent? Nah, I like, honestly, like really like, like London, 
Like the 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 girls from like London and probably like Southern girls, I like Southern girls, like they yeah. they actually you like too. that Southern that yeah. Southern drawl. Yeah, I like drawl. that. I mean, no, no, I like I like to say my name. I can't. But I I also wonder if like when we go when we travel to like Europe and you know we speak, do they find our accents to be just as sexy? Are they just like oh they sound funny? They're American, like nah, whatever. I, well, maybe because I feel like. Being from New York, they love they love they love New York accent. I mean, like everybody how we loves down. New York. Like yeah, how I mean. we get down. We, first of all, we don't, we don't even hear we don't even have an accent in New York. We just but New we York. do. When we you know. think about the breakdown, like of yeah. how even just saying like car, like it's such a hard R versus like ca. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so it's so that's our accent. Like that's what's different. Don't look now. Look now. You just, know I only eat vegetables. Don't be we trying just, to... We just started. Wow. Okay. You so... Whoa, 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 buddy. Anyway. Um, but there's the, so many like... Oh, so are, you going, are you going to see somebody later? I, to, I just might. Trying to help that nigga out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. I'm out here saying... I mean, that's not go that's ahead, a different call. conversation. But I'm saying like there, we do have an accent at the end of the day. Like the way... The emphasis on certain things yeah. and stuff. So I just wonder if our accent is sexy overseas too. Yeah. Like I know when I went to Europe, as soon as I opened my mouth, they knew where I was. Like I was American. You yeah. know what I mean? Like from the states. Yeah. So it's like, but no one ever said like, "I love your accent." The same Aww. way, whereas like so somebody British comes here and we're just like, "Oh, I love your accent." Oh yeah. my god, and you're British. <laughs> yeah. You know. They love my accent too. There's so many, but the, anyway, um, there's so many like awesome. Why did we pick this topic? I just say like I did not know, know you was like, gonna sit right, here so and talk about your own fake British to me, accent. Yo, to me, the closest that like, when you go to like when you go to, like Toronto, like because there's so much different people, different kind of people out there in Toronto and shit. In Canada, okay. yeah, man, that, that, like first of all, you know, all that shit's under the crown. I've been watching the crown, so I, I we not even get into the crown yet. We we not even get into that yet. We gonna talk about the crown. All that shit's all that shit's under is under the crown. We gonna talk about that. If you want to test it out. Go to Toronto. They, they call us the States, too. Okay. Yeah, but they sound mad regular. Sound only right. thing, if you ever watch the grass, the only difference that they say is a boat. <laughs> a, boat. That's a, boot. a boot. That's it. <laughs> I've never heard them say that That, that is shit. it. Now, the first, time, the first time I went to Toronto, I was like, yo, I, mean, I got to hear somebody say A. Oh, my god. What are you doing, A? But I, I feel like my when first, I went... And then my first two days, I didn't hear that shit, and I was like mad depressed Because Toronto, shit. low key, I, I love Toronto, and but it's mad regular. And then the first time I said it, I was hyped. I was like, she was like, you from, you from New York, eh? I was like... But New York, like, I feel like Toronto is mad regular. Like, it's cool, like, it is, but it's it mad is. regular. It is, it is. Shout out to, shout out to my, my Toronto family out Whatever. there. You know what I'm saying? But if the American, I mean, if the Americans, if the Brit- British are not as obsessed with us as we are with them, <laughs> no, that's they're, really they're, unfortunate. They're mad obsessed with us. You're talking I mean, about I, th- I mean, yes, I guess like, I think so. Like, all they do is watch American TV. They, uh, I guess so. Because it's they, entertaining. This is why they can do our accents so well. No, they have to go to coaches and stuff. No. But they, it's just entertaining. These niggas are watching TV and saying they there was like there was at home saying "son" mad times. American TV is <laughs> they saying, hilarious. They were saying "son" mad times. It's ridiculous. At home. That's why. You know but British TV is also. But just to throw out some of these British actors that I was like surprised when I found out they were British. So of course, Idris Elba, like we all know, like yeah. everybody was like, "Why are you?" You know. Okay. We relax, talked about relax. Relax. Sean, relax. <laughs> we talked about Daniel. Relax. I'm Kulua. more. I'm more sexy than than, than the Idris Elba. Come on. We talked about Daniel Kaluuya, right? Yeah. Yeah. You ever watch House? Yeah. House you know Hugh, Hugh Laurie? He's the main, he's the guy that plays House. Yeah. I didn't know he was British. Like, I used to, I loved House. And okay. I was just like, that's awesome. Um, the guy from All American. Yeah, that's my Spencer, show. Spencer. Yeah. I heard he had to, like, listen to all, like, West Coast rap to get, like, that California kind of West Coast, you know, that yeah. accent. Because West Coast and East Coast is a little different, a different you know. Yeah. Um, and then the guy from Snowfall also. I just found that out. I literally just found out today. I think it's it's just so cool. I it think is, it's so crazy that accents can be so sexy. American, American actors don't think that shit is cool. Oh, yeah, I mean, Maybe. I can understand that because you think you have such great American actors. Why can't it just be us? I mean, but it's like, do, do they get extra points see, but, because they end up perfecting an American see. accent as well as you being know, so good crazy, actors? Like in like um, actors from like 
Europe. Mm-hmm. A lot of them niggas are stage actors. And you don't even know that shit. Like, even, even the ones who play like all these hood roles or whatever, mm-hmm. a lot of them are stage actors. Because you know what's crazy? So cra- they got trained. But you know what's <laughs> crazy? So coming from theater is learning how to be on stage <clears throat> is completely different than when you start out learning how to do TV and film. Yeah. It's a whole different vibe. The transition is different. Like I think, I think people can go from theater to TV, but exactly. people can't go from TV to theater. Exactly. And exactly. that's the one thing that I will say I'm really happy that and, I have a theater background. And that's why they have a leg up because most of them is doing They start theater. in theater yeah. than people that just start like it. Over no, here, true. they started commercials. No, that is, that is true. I can, that, like... That is true. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't want to necessarily accept this and saying that British actors might be better than some American they actors. They might be better. Blue. But I can understand the training. Yeah. The training definitely can make a little is, different. Shout out to my London bloats. And you still don't sound pretty what? Well. Y'all tell me if I don't sound... This, you, my, I'm, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a good job out here. I'm I probably you. can sound more British. Than Dude, try it. I'm not going Try to. it. No, 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 you gotta try it. You gotta See, because now it. I'm in my head. I you can't do it. You have to try it. No, get out the there. The only word I will say is water. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that on a regular basis when I talk all the time. Can I have some water? What's a water? Thank no, you. you What's a water? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but... <laughs> But so, um, of course. Like, so like, are you dizzy, blood? Are you dizzy? What's the water? <laughs> but th- there's also different areas in London that have different. Br- Enough about the accents. Okay. Anyway, they, they, moving they, they, on. There's yeah. a big topic, a lot of big things that have happened this past week in regards to, you know, Britain and whatnot yeah. was that Meg and Harry interview with Oprah. So, did you watch all of it? I you watched, watched some of it. Some of it. Okay. It was interesting stuff. You know I watched saying? the whole thing. Oh, yeah? So, well, I did. What's your take? I mean, so, I feel like I believe... So, I know some people were saying, like, they don't believe, um, you know, their story. They don't believe Megan and all that stuff. But one, I loved her from when she was in Suits. So, did you ever watch Suits? Suits? Yeah, it was a show on... Um, oh, she was an actress? Yeah. Nah, I never wow. saw that. Wow, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing, I didn't know that. She's too. been acting for a minute, and she's in a show, Suits. Like, I loved her in Suits. Um, but, like, some people were like, how they didn't, they just didn't believe her story. And, like, you know, whatever. But it was like, I I kind of do believe them. Speaking of The Crown, you watched the whole thing, or you only watched part of that, too? I am on season two of The Crown. Damn. What season you on? I finished it. That is? Yes. Oh, yeah, you were sick, and you was watching shit when you were sick. I was watching yeah. it when I was sick. But it's like, after watching The Crown, I feel like the royal family is my extended family. <laughs> I feel like I know so much about them, you know? Like, so when she was saying stuff, I was like, girl, I understand. Like, I saw what they had to go through, you know, growing up. I nah, definitely understand. It's crazy. Like, I, like the, the Crown... I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit is crazy. It's sad, though. Yeah, it is. Like, because even, like, a lot of people were upset about, you know, like, so, when I mean, they brought up the racist comment, like, about the skin color of what about Archie would be. Yeah, yeah about yeah. Megan. But it's like, when you think about, if you do watch The Crown, right, and there's also a documentary that The Crown is based off of, right? That's where, yeah. there's an actual documentary of the royal family that The Are Crown is. Are you seeing black people on The Crown? But think, but besides, no besides when they travel to the Commonwealth. Yes, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, let's go to all the, all the, all the African niggas and shit but, like but, that. But I mean, but they're showing the truth that it's about the royal family and no one is black in the royal family up until now, right? Nobody even, nobody even work in the in the palaces. Nobody work in the castle. None of that shit. I mean, none you of the bars, none of that no. Shit? I don't, think, I don't think so. Now I think about it. None of the niggas should be standing outside like this or shit. No. I mean, they, 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 they're, not the they're not in the movie either. They Enjoy. are. They're, they stand out there. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying like, talk, then when you think about the history of the royal family from at least what is shown in the crown because they are like my extended family, like I said. Um, like, a lot of the times the people didn't ask to, like Queen Elizabeth, the one, the current Queen Elizabeth, I think the second, the second yeah. she didn't want to be fucking queen. She yeah, but, was mad young. Yeah, but then that's that's different though because she's born into it. But and they're her, all and born whole, into and her, it. Her whole education, because she's the first. So her whole education. She, But she and, wasn't the first one. What no, do you mean? She, I the, mean, she's the first child and there was no sons. Right. But what I'm saying is that, like, if you think about even the, just their situation and their setup and the way that they interact between, like, yes, we're family, but this is also a job. Yeah. I think that's very unfortunate. Like when the sister wanted to get married to old boy 
and the, there was like nah, cause he was a, he was divorced, right? And the wife so the, is still alive, so right? You can't get married to but the then homeboy. also just the fact that even if you want to have a conversation with your own mother, you have to make an appointment, yeah. Because at the end of the day, she is the queen, you know, and you have to, like that's her job, and that takes precedent over everything else. So sometimes I feel bad for the royal family. Like granted, it's like yeah, they get to live in a palace and nah, you know this whole fantasy that they sell which mm-hmm. was the whole point of the crowns that they selling this fantasy of prince and princesses but it's like it's lonely it's you know so there's question. a lot of shit that goes so on there so do you there. think that old girl didn't do any research like she saw the she saw the prince and didn't know the nigga was a prince i mean i think she knew he was a prince but that i mean that's two so, different but things what, but so what, like what, her, did, what did she know though like what was the thing that she said she didn't know but so th- that's two different things because if we're talking about just like how separated they are from kind of like emotional and just like kind of like love and emotion they separate there are versus Megan meeting Harry mm-hmm. like that's that's two separate things right <clears throat> so because I'm gonna get to the dating part because I thought that was interesting mm. but like the fact that everybody was upset they didn't believe her story and then like you know people are in Britain are upset but then like people are you know riding with Megan and Harry and I just I think like even the racist comment that was made about like the skin tone of their child it's like when you look not that it makes it okay oh, yeah, that's but it's like crazy. when you look at the history of the people that have been stuck in this bubble and all they've known is that Africans or black people that are in their commonwealth, mm-hmm. not in their home. Like sometimes you can't always, I don't want to say you can't blame someone to them being old enough to learn. Yeah. But it's like, you could blame them though. Yeah. I mean like, cause now we're in it, we're in what the 21st century. Like yeah, now this is, this you is, should this come is out. Technology era. Like come on, this, this internet people. But it's like, you're, you're on season one and two of the crown. Like you see how separated yeah. and I mean that's talking about back then right and we're talking about the same queen that has been the queen I'm trying to get to Princess Diana because you know, people love Prince Diana and right shit. Yeah. and like but you, when you think about the same queen for decades that have been has been controlling this monarchy forever and this is all that they've ever known this is the same one person from back then it's like she might not really know any better father, father, they, might not, they might not they might not know any down. better yeah. You know, and everybody's stuck in that. The surprise is like they, they don't got much. They got power, but I mean, so much more. Then they also really don't. Don't have no power at all like, because like, she. How much does she have to fight to actually be able to kind of like say what she wanted to say, or you know, just whatever? So I kind of feel bad for them. Mm-hmm. I do, you know, because they he even had an uncle that like you know separated at one point. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Mm-hmm. But I kind of feel bad for the royal family. I think it's like, you know. They, they're selling a dream here, and it's it's unfortunate. But now, so the prince relinquished his crown for him and him and um. He wasn't in he wasn't in line to be king no, I anytime soon. His brother is. No, his, his father. No. no, so it's his father, and then yeah. No, he is. He he's he supersedes his father. No, he doesn't. Yes. No, he doesn't. No, yes, he does. How how does he supersede his father? Because he when the I, queen dies, it becomes his father. His father becomes king. Charles becomes king. No, I, I listen. I, so the, so I, I was watching the crown right, and Lord. when the part I'm on just lost put that part. She was like, he was like, there was arguing and shit. He was like, listen, he's like his son outranks him because he's not he's not well, you're he's talking not the about royal Philip. Blood. Yeah, Philip is not born into it. He okay. married in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's different. Oh, you're talking about Charles. I'm talking okay. about Charles. Charles oh. is Charles Philip's Trump's son. Philip. That's Philip's son. I got yes. you. Okay. Yes. Harry, Harry is, is Charles' Phil- son. Okay, got you. See, this is my extended family. You see, these, these are my people. Okay, okay, got you. I got you. All right. You. So Charles is next in line. Yeah. So Harry still has like you know what? some time. You're right about that. Being a London bloke myself, I should see, actually know that. You should have known that. Because you don't know You know what? I left London a long time ago. Okay, a long time ago I left London. Okay, that, I've been, I've been, clearly because your accent is I've all Amer- gone. I've been in America. <laughs> mm, clearly, <laughs> all this time that's just crazy though. Okay, but yeah, he so, is he right. is kind of a little far, like a little bit removed from but, being king. But you know, like even like the marriage joint, right? Because I, I'm learning that from this movie, from the show, and all that. It's the, awesome. If you haven't watched The if, Crown, do if it. If they don't, if he don't get the okay to marry who he married, then they would um he he would like they'll kick him out the family like he have to like leave the family or something like his remember the crowd like his brother the um prince 
Fuck he, him. Right, but he remember that the, the um, remember the king's yes, the brother, un- yes. the, the, the uncle. He had to because he had he married somebody that didn't, yes. didn't want him to marry whatever case is, and he chose love. Yes, before the crown. Yes, shit, cause it's crazy. <laughs> but that's why I said I feel bad for them. I, I really do. This, I need this money, this money too, nigga. You don't need this money. But I, I do, I do feel bad for them. I do feel like they've been so because even Harry said on, on the show like he was like he felt trapped he didn't understand or wasn't aware of certain things until he you know started dating Meg yeah um but speaking of dating right so she did say that she didn't uh research anything about the royal family I guess like how deep do you think that is like do you think she uh She's telling the truth, or you think she? Because I, I mean, because granted, they've been dating before the crown came out. She's, <laughs> but, bull, she's bullshitting. You think so? Yeah, she's bullshitting. Like, come on, think about it. Like, as you meet this dude, he's the prince, mm-hmm. right? You start going out. You're not going. You're not going Google. But I mean, like googling just the fact that he's a prince and maybe about his family, but then f- trying to fully understand what it meant to be. A prince might well, be different. Okay, so my thing is, okay, so what did she, what did she not know? Like, is it the reaction she would have gotten? I think she said she didn't really research what it meant to be in that family. Like, I, I think I she know. knew who they were. I don't know if you can research what it means to be in a family. But shit. I mean, like, I guess that that's kind of what she said. Like, I mean, I know I have stalk niggas that I mean, <laughs> you have to nowadays. Safety, you know, got to Google okay. search. You don't Google can't bitches trust, you meet. Can't trust these light skinned girls out here. These wow. <laughs> I just, you know, I just look, I just look to make sure She's people like, yeah, aren't crazy. Finances. Hmm, what's his blood type? I mean, hmm, if I can it? find somebody's financials, hmm. that would be awesome. I would say, I, I would say moving forward in life, I am, I am going to have a questionnaire form for any girl that I meet and I go on dates with and take it in my life. So we go through this whole question. Because I guess you, you run into some crazy people. Yeah, huh? you know these person, crazy, you know? Okay. All right. But it's like, would would you look would you look into someone that you you're dating, or do you think because if they're not that high profile, then you don't need to? No, nah, I'm gonna get, get I mean, I feel you have to. You have to, I, I would. I would look into them. You would look into them. I, feel too. Like I, know I mean, you, you got are. social media now. I feel like yeah. it makes it a lot yeah, easier. I'm, yeah, I gotta be like, who are you? Let me see what kind of person you are. I mean, true. I mean, you out here shaking. You out here shaking it fast. You know what I'm saying. Wow. Maybe. Showing I mean, what, that might just been in a past life. With, you know you never know. I gotta know if I gotta come through with my in my hand. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel low key though. I feel like Greek life has made me like the. <laughs> Perfect stalker <laughs> slash researcher. That's crazy. Cause like I could dig up and find some shit, you know. Like I'm gonna find you. Yeah. Okay, you know how much I had to dig to find certain information. That's crazy. <laughs> so I just feel like I'm gonna find some shit. I piece some shit together. Have you ever like? Nah, I'm about to tell myself right Go ahead, now. Tell yourself. Have you ever like? Not trusted someone. Yeah. So like when they posted some shit, you piece together where they actually were. Oh, you looking at backgrounds? You looking but, at yeah? Have oh, you yeah. have you ever done that in the past? Maybe be honest. Let's be honest. Have I ever done Keep that? Keep it frank. Keep it frank. How have I ever done that? I have. I I definitely have piece that shit all together. One of my one of my exes. I didn't trust this nigga like at all. We, clearly, we broke up. Um, but not the last one. Couple ones before. Not the rapper. Right, a couple months before. So he like... <laughs> Never laying that shit down. Whatever. <laughs> he posted a picture and I knew, like, I was like, he's out with some bitches. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I feel like he's out with some bitches. Oh, you one so, of those? But I, I didn't trust him. It was trust issues because he was doing shit. Like, you know what I mean? But you try to work it out, but, you know, you don't trust niggas. So I was like, where is he at? So I happened to zoom in. Right, you know, zoom yeah. into the picture because it was only Two like fingers. it was only like glasses and like napkins of like the place. Nah, you mean that's that's too I'm crazy. T- I'm man. telling it's myself too, it's too crazy. All right, should no, I no, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So wait, I wait. zoomed in because I saw it was a couple. We need of them. to know your techniques and shit. What you be doing? Whatever. I zoomed in and I saw the napkin. Okay. And so I was like, hmm. All okay. right. So he's there, happened to go to his friend's page, who happened to tag one of the other people that was there. So I found out it was like his friend, and then there was two other girls that were there too. So it was like four of them, and that that just don't sound right. Why is it two and two? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but I was able to piece together that they was at the same place because I saw on a napkin the, lo- the name of the place, Jeez. and then 
the same cups. You know what I mean? So I was able to piece it together. New name alert. Trailing homes, nigga. We Shut are. up. <laughs> Trailing sometimes, homes. Sometimes you got to do you know what, what you got to do. But nowadays, if I got to do all that or I even think to do that, it's not worth it. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not it's worth it. Regardless it's though. not worth it. It's all right, man. It's not worth it. Trailing homes out here. You know what I'm saying? But if I, if I was to meet someone that was kind of high profile, like kind of how she did, it's like... I would want to know about them, but mm-hmm. it's also like I would want to know how they are with me too. Like some things you can't always believe what you find. You this, know, this is my thing though, right? How are you when it comes down to the person you with? How are you? How are you with family? Right? Some people believe in like, let me see how your family is. Let me see how this because. I don't want because you you know what I'm saying if you get married and have kids you're mm-hmm. going into that that's your that's an extension now of you now yes true right? you gotta make sure you gotta make sure they're not they're not crazy and whatever the case is you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying yeah, but is, family, only, but, is that is that important to you like yes but if you're only gonna find but so much unless you start asking people about them you know I mean, what I mean as you, as you start as you start going out with them and shit yeah you know what I'm then you start seeing shit. And they make a judgment call from there. But I feel like people can't be mad that she said she didn't really research them. Because it's like, how would you really know how crazy they are? Like, if I didn't watch The Crown, I would have thought, well, if that's your mother, even though she's the queen, that's still your mother. You could still do whatever because that's your mom's. And they they was like, nah. So I wouldn't have known that. No, and if I would have met... Harry's out somewhere or one of their children. I, I mean, I feel that. like, but they did a royal family. Their history, they regardless without the movie, they they still have a history that people can research and see. Like, yes, um, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, regardless, like, there's something to look look for. Yeah, it's, it's the royal I don't family. think I don't think she didn't know anything it's not, it's about not, them. It's not Leroy Auntie and shit like that's the True. whole royal family. True, but I don't think she didn't know anything. I don't think she dug into knowing what she was kind of getting herself into. And I feel like if you think you're in 20, what was that? Kind of last year, 2020, 2021, you're probably mm-hmm. thinking like, okay, we're just at the point where, hello, even though I'm half black, it's not a problem. But you also have to think about how old their shit runs. And nah, their shit runs very far. Taking that bloodline but, of nigga them. Wow. One, you know one drop rule. Yeah, okay. that, little, that little one drop. That little nigga baby come through. But she made you know the point saying? about like the Commonwealth being so diverse you know what i mean because they they used to do they still control australia yeah no 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 mm. they still control canada canada yes i don't remember if they still like if australia is still a commonwealth or if they still they they might still visit not trinidad nigga you don't control trinidad wow but it's like all these places they control jamaica though oh y'all live free how you have independence day they they still do what they still, it, it, Jamaica's still under like. Yeah, they're still, they're still on the crown, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm not Jamaican, so yeah. I didn't know that. You sure? Yeah, Grenada is. Trent, um, um, Trent that is not. You know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. You sure? I'm yeah. positive, man. All right, interesting. Yeah. It's, Wiki- so, it's so crazy how much they used to control. Wikipedia that they don't is, a, is your best friend. You know, some people can edit that. Yeah, I'm about to go edit some shit on there. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I did that before, actually. I was, you edited stuff on Wikipedia? Yeah, I put my name on something, and I gave myself some crazy ass, like, wow. this, this nigga's the man. He's uh, Wow. Do, 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 do. Wow. You know Noted. So don't trust anything you look up and read about Keston. Hmm? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm nice. I'm, I got, my history is crazy on Wikipedia. Mm-mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but so... um. I wanted to talk about like Diana, right? And the whole breakdown of like her, the comparison between her and Megan. Because I do think, did, well, you didn't, you didn't watch the whole. I didn't get there. No, but not even talking about her in the crown. Okay. But talking about like, so they cut, you know, Harry off from financial support from yeah. the crown. So. But that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's that what happens like when you. Well, that's what happened when you leave. You know what I'm saying? You just drop your shit. Like, you're, you're gone. Right. You're but I thought it was interesting that he said his mother left him money. And I think they said he has, like, however many millions, technically, from what Diana left him. Ooh, she was then. scamming on the side. But oh, so, hey. But that made me think about, like, yo, you... I mean, Diana went through a lot. When you... I mean, even no, though... She, was, she wasn't a royal either. She was a, she was an average ass... An right, average but even the shit that they put her through it literally is exactly the same shit that Megan is going through. And then they killed her. So it's like it's kind of crazy. I mean, well, I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, can't her, can't confirm her. nor deny. Yeah, they killed her. Man. I don't that's know. Cool. But, but it's like, that's the same we situation. Know, we know the truth. 
Harry is doing more for Meghan than kind of Charles did for Diana because yeah. that was draw. Wait till you get to that. That yeah. was so sad. I'm, I'm, I'm um, gonna get up on that. But shit. just thinking about like the fact that she let like, and it's not that like I don't know exactly the age that Harry and what William were when Diana passed away. But it's like for her to already, I think she was just already prepared, knowing that this is some fucked up shit. Yeah. And like, I'm gonna make sure y'all are straight because one of y'all is probably gonna want to dip off the way that she did. And it, it makes you think about how you prepare your children for the worst. Cause yeah. niggas don't be preparing their kids for nothing nowadays. Mm -hmm. They don't even help them with their credit nowadays. And you know, you can help your kids with your credit early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. By not messing it up. That and you know. You know some, some, Cause you put your kid's name on some shit now. No, people do, and it's fucked up, but it's just like, you can, <clears throat> I just thought that's, I, I think it's sad that he has to do that, that they just cut them off. off. The 400. <laughs> I mean, true. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought that was interesting that he added that tidbit. I don't yeah. know. I believe them. Yeah. I, like I said, I've loved Megan beforehand and not that i knew her personally but i loved her in the show just in the family and shit and and now that i've watched the crown i have so much more of like uh it's a sadness that i i kind of feel for them now nah, yeah that which is why i kind of believe harry and megan more than other people do like queen elizabeth is like she's mad cold in the in the, in the, in the show though she's just mad like but cold she as but fuck, the thing is that saying? that's what that's how they taught her to be yeah so like, you can't like if you're if you're nurtured into it because nurture is you know nature versus nurture but if you're basically trained mm -hmm. to be this way a robot and shit. that's all you know and it's like yeah there could be a, ch a, a time where you can decide that you know i want to break out of this and do something different but there there's so many factors kind of like against her as the actual queen yeah. like versus like harry who can kind of have a little more leeway to be like i want to remove myself from this situation I feel like there's always going to be one person that. So Harry's himself. the first, right? So he's like, so he after his father is him. No, I think it's William. William. I think I think Harry. I don't think Harry's next. Let me ask Siri. Who's older, Harry or William? No, actually, actually, see, I, like talk to talk to him. Hey Siri, what's up? Hey Siri, what up? Can you answer no, me? Harry is younger. Harry's younger. Yep. William is the. <clears throat> Yeah, so well, so that's why Harry has so he's so far removed from having the like. So he's like, yeah, just, because it would be Charles, and then once Charles passed away, it would be William, and then William's kids. That's facts. It wouldn't be Harry yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. So. So he's good then. He that's what I'm like. Yeah, right. They they was bitching about shit for no reason. Let him rock. Yeah. They still wanted to do you know their job or whatever. Still travel around. Shorty gave up her whole career and shit. She was an actress. Yes, she gave up her whole Yo, career. I got, she, she did like shows or stage suits. Look up suits. Look she up was in. Suits. Yeah, it's a. It's a. Oh, funny that, show. That, 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 she was, that was on USA or some shit like that. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I suits she was in that. that. Yeah, she yeah. was the guy's fiance or wife in that. That's Eventually crazy. I didn't even him. know that shit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't be knowing nothing. It's okay. It's okay. Right? I see. I you don't really shit. be knowing nothing. I know a lot of shit. Stop it. I'm very intelligent. Anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah. I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's very interesting. I feel for them. Well, when I go back home to London, I am going to go see my my bloats, and I don't know what, where that word even come from. That's that's what you say, bloats, I'm, whatever. I'm going to see, you know what I'm saying, blood. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just get like, up and walk I, I out like, now. I'm, yeah, well, I'll be like, and they be like, they're like, listen, cuss. <laughs> I'm gonna just and. Thank you they're guys like, for tuning in. They're like, listen, cuss. Because clearly all he's going to do is talk in this fake <laughs> Blood. English accent. No. Just, but <laughs> when, I, when, I, when, I head to, when I head back to England and shit, I got you. I'm, I'm going to find I out. actually haven't been to London. Nah. And I've been to other parts of Europe and I just have not touched London. You didn't want to go there? It's not that I didn't. It was just that like. It wasn't interesting. There's, there's the least interesting I would, shit. Yeah. I guess like, because when I went to Europe, I did Portugal, Spain. And Italy. You did um you did um Amsterdam? No, I haven't been to Amsterdam. Yeah, yet. when I go to I Amsterdam, I ain't gonna lie to you. My mom probably gonna listen to this, but when I go to Amsterdam, I'm doing all the drugs. Oh. Uh, it's just what they know for. Why me. has to be Amsterdam? You can do all the drugs everywhere. Oh, no. Go to Ibiza. Ibiza got they do drugs over drugs there too. Ibiza. 
I do all the drugs. Over. I took a pill in Ibiza. <laughs> That's the only reason why I went to Ibiza. I love that song. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was one of my favorite so you songs. Do you do? I took a pill in Ibiza. You're not there to take a pill? The show I was cool. <laughs> and then I, so we're 10 years old, but fuck it, it was something to do. That was my oh, shit. Man. And I was like, I have to go to Ibiza. <laughs> Dude, you take a pill. Oh, it was, I wish they played the song in Ibiza, you know, but that song is kind of old. I went out there to take a pill. I mean, it's I'm not going to, I don't confirm nor deny the, uh, you know, usage of any type of anything. Okay. Um, I got you. You want to, you want to maintain this? My innocence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm innocent. We know you're not though. I think the world know you're not. Does it? No. We all know you're not. Our side conversations are different mm-hmm. than our public conversations. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am innocent. Okay. My body is pure. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> But anyway, just to randomly end on something funny that I read, um, they were showing some British like Twitter users that uh, were laughing at American ads because since they watched the Oprah uh, interview, they they saw American ads as well. And they were cracking so many jokes about them because they were just like there were so many drug commercials, like medicine commercials. And they just said they were like, ask your doctor about. And somebody was like, but why are you asking your doctor for a medication? Like when the doctor should just provide you the medication. But it was just a fact, though. There's so many things that we think is just okay because we're in America. That's just not. My people are so smart. That's that's a fact. All right. It's a fact, though. And we're done. (laughs) Why are you asking your your doctor for anything? Your doctor just... Let you know you give it to you. Right, but America, America is just, they just money hungry. It's a business. Yeah, it's all about this. And the other thing the that shouldn't be that we think is okay is working all the fucking time. Oh, Other yeah. Countries, they don't. Yeah, that's what I'm Like, when you travel to Britain and stuff, they have, like, already a month of vacation time as soon as you start working. We got to work our way up and shit to vacation time. And that shit is trash. Yeah. That's why hey, guys. I just be calling the fuck out. That's why if y'all want to work for me, when that time comes, we're going to go in there. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that shit. I'm doing, like, what um LinkedIn does. LinkedIn, they, they have, like, what, unlimited vacations or some shit like that. They should. Like, you got to have a work-life balance. Yeah. My company, Third Eye Media, Innovative Creative Studios, my, you know what I mean? We're a fun company. We're going to turn the fuck up. Sounds good. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a balance. But you got to come to work, though. If you don't, you know what I mean? Don't just be like, I just oh, feel like if I'm doing so. my work, don't bother me. That's yeah, how that's I it. We're going to turn up. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm creating like a, like a fucking um, Apple community and shit. Now Apple got the, the Apple got the, this shit is crazy. I heard Apple, Google, and I think like Nike's environment are, is pretty fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm creating for Third Eye Media. Sounds good. Innovative Creative Studios. We're out here doing it up. Come work for me, it's butters. Like, I'm, I, I'm I'm fun, right? Fun boss. I'll be doing that. You don't got a lot. You know what I'm saying? Him. You ain't Come got on. a lot. Yes, right? Do you ain't Come got on, a man. lot? We do you ain't got here. a lot. We up here. We doing it up. As long as he don't yeah. do his British accent on a regular basis, nah. I hope not. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we shouldn't have picked this topic if I would have known he was gonna talk in this. All right, before we go though, before accent. you go, you gotta give me, you gotta give me something else than water. I said water. No, you gotta give me something else than water. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like tea and crumpets. Give, give me, give me, give me a sentence. I don't know. Come on. Hello. <laughs> uh, sentence. Come on. Just, I don't know. You was trained for this. No, I, was, I have. I, was, I said I did take yes, some I'm classes. You were, yes, you were still trained though. I was born into it. That's why I'm so nice. Oh, but you was trained into it. Thank you for tuning in to this episode <laughs> of Keeping It Frank podcast. I'm your host, <laughs> the one you like to look at, yeah. Trigger Trey. <laughs> Check out my Instagram at Traylon Husbands. At Third Eye Media Group, at Keeping It Frank 100. Follow us, subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that stuff because he's lost his mind. So now I have to take over. You feel me? Yeah, blow. Whatever. So <laughs> thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Come <laughs> on, the people. We out. Bye.